We're here at the team hotel on the day of the Europa League second qualifying round tie at Malmo. What's the latest team news ahead of kickoff, please? Yeah, well, obviously Tim Clancy is still out. Roy McGivern will be out tonight as well. Um, Alex Harris is, is struggling with a knock as well. So we're a little bit short and early, but we, we've still got plenty of experience on the pitch. What's the problem with Ryan McGivern? He just got a bang on his on his knee uh, in the right game, so um, he's still a little bit sore with that, you know. And Alex caught his toy and we took him off at half time and see how he is. He did a bit of training yesterday, so he hasn't trained all week, but he's trained yesterday, so we'll see how he is up to later on, probably. To what extent does that hand you a late selection dilemma then? Yeah, we've got to move things around a little bit and, you know, it's it's not ideal, but it is what it is and we've got to deal with what we have. We've got some good players, we're not, you know, obviously we've got Paul and we're not left back if we need to be, so, you know, and, and Jordan come in and play centre half. So we've got we've got options, it's not as if we're, we're struggling for options. The last training session ahead of kickoff was last night at the Swedbank Stadion. How did you feel that went overall? Yeah, it was grand. We, I mean, most of our work was done in relation to, to Malmo. Last night was just getting a feel for the place and look at the pitch, look at the stadium and getting the boys ready to play tonight. So Malmo, top of the Swedish league at the moment after 16 matches. What kind of threat do you feel they'll pose on the night? Yeah, they've got some good players. The two wide players are very, very decent. Two strikers are a handful. Good movement, strong boys, you know. And they pass the ball really well, you know. So it's going to be going to be a difficult night for us. But we feel up to it, you know. I've said before, we've got to make sure that we keep the game alive and bubbling to, to get back to Easter Road. Well, see, it's not uncharted territory for yourself in terms of competing in European uh, matches and competitions. Do you kind of delve deep into that and to try and? work out a strategy to win the, the match or, or make this still competitive going back to Easter Road? Well, you want to win every game you play. And the important thing is that we, we you know, it's two legs. The time of winning it is in the last, you know, the last the last minute, I suppose, at Easter Road is when it really tells. So it's important that, like I said, it, it is played over two legs. We've got to try go and get a goal tonight. I think that will be a key for us as well. And we've got to defend properly. We're going to have changes to that, to the back four, obviously, again. So we need to make sure that we're, we're, we're strong and tight. Um, and we, you know, we've got we've got threats in the team. We need to utilise. I think when you go to Europe, keeping the ball is is, is paramount. You, know, you give it away cheaply, you get punished. You mentioned goals. Obviously, you have brought in Rowan Vine. Uh, this is the first time we've spoken on Hibernian TV since that deal was completed. What was the reasoning behind that transfer? Oh, we, we're short of front, and Rowan gives us experience. Um, I think he co he causes a lot of problems last year. Uh, he can play wide as well, but we basically see him as a striker. Uh, he's got pace as well, and. He's got that experience to, to hold the ball up and link the play for us, you know. So um, I think he's been a good signing for us. We, you know, we're obviously still looking maybe for one more in that position. Uh, the two young boys, Ross and Danny, are good players and they need support, like I said earlier on, in the pre-season, you know. So we're delighted to, to get round on board.